Peace and blessings. This is Lisa Marie Goodson of the Afrocentric Home Decor Channel. How are you, everyone? So guess what I'm holding in my hand? I am traveling. Actually, I leave tomorrow, and I'm going to the Bahamas, and I'm definitely going to take you all with me. So I'm going to be definitely filming you know, live. Um, I'm going on a cruise for the first time. We're going to the Bahamas. It's my sister's 51st birthday. And so we're celebrating. I've never been on a cruise. Remember, y'all, for those that don't know, that's new to my channel, new to me, I'm a vegan, not just a vegan, I'm a raw foodist. And so that means I only eat raw food. So hopefully I can eat well while I'm traveling. But anyway, what I wanted to show you today was how to travel Afrocentrically, or I'm going to call it Afrocentric traveling. So yes, of course, I'm so glad my sister said, look, I want to go on a cruise. I want to celebrate my 51st birthday because we were supposed to celebrate her 50th birthday last year. It didn't work out. And she says, I want to go somewhere where there's beautiful black folks. And so we, of course, the Bahamas trip came up. I've never been to the Bahamas, only been to Trinidad, got my passport, and we are ready to go. So what I want to do is I want to show you what's in my travel bag and some of the things that I'm taking with me that I believe is very kind of Afrocentric travel. Um, you can do it, and uh, you can do it in a healthy way. You can also buy gifts of, you know, Afrocentric nature. So I'm hoping that I get there, and not so much near the port when I go in, but I'm hopefully we'll meet up with a couple of friends. Well, I don't know, but I'm going to have a meet up with a couple of people, and they can take me to some really cool shops that's off the beaten path, and we can actually shop for some few things for the home. So I'm looking for things for the living room, actually any room. I'm not even choosy. So what I'm going to do is uh, just say to you, if you're getting out, enjoy yourself. I'm going to talk a little bit about, oh, I, oh yeah, I'll show you the products that I'll be taking with me as far as for skin protection. A lot of you want to know the soaps, the clays, and things that I'll be using when I get there to protect myself. I'll show you about some of the snacks that I'm actually taking to stay healthy, to be being a raw vegan. And of course, I'm going to show you the clothing that I packed. I really have very few things I consider. It all fits in one bag. I'm going to show you the bag that I bought. Uh, it's, it's, you know what Afrocentric, remember to me, it's either it's colorful, it's tropical, it encompasses the Caribbean, the continent of Africa, uh, the South, you know, all of my, even my Brooklyn way in an Afrocentric way, of course. And so if you are interested, stay tuned to see what I'm wearing uh, every day and what I'm packing in my bag. All right, y'all, come along. Peace and blessings. All right, y'all, thank you for staying, staying tuned. So now I want to show you what I have in my bag and how am I traveling and some of my accessories. Anyway, everything. I'm going to show you everything. I'm going to the Bahamas. I leave tomorrow. And so it's only a three-day trip. So it's actually Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and we come back on Monday. And so let me show you what I first got. I love this bag. Why did I pick this bag? Because to me, I don't know, when I think Afrocentric, you know, y'all, I think colors, I think patterns, and I feel like this has colors, patterns. The size is actually perfect for an overnight trip. And let me show you some of the wonderful feature that I actually love. First of all, do y'all notice the wheels on the bottom? So there's a reason for that because inside so this has a zipper so basically you unzipper this and of course yes you can pull this out and so now you can actually wheel it around rather than carry it around it has actually a wonderful side pocket where you can put things that you don't need to get too easily which is probably not this but this part of my uh my dental floss um my dental floss and so yeah, we have a little side pocket, which actually I love. And then inside is so roomy. And I just take my word for it, y'all. It's very roomy. I paid $24.99 for this at Burlington Coat Factory. I bought it some weeks ago, and I'm so glad I did. Because everything you're about to see, it actually all fits in here. Because I've already had it all packed up. And so anyway, let's get started. So this is the bag. So we're going to start here. You cannot go to the Bahamas or anywhere because we're going to, my sister and I, we're going to be doing nothing but laying on the beach. That is our whole 
point of going. So we're going to lounge on the beach and eat foods and drink coconuts and have a great time. So my sister said, do you have a beach bag? And I thought, yeah, because the thing about traveling with me is most of the stuff I need, I probably already have. And who wants to spend all the money trying to get there when you actually want to buy things or just relax and have a good time? To me, the wealth and the, and the joy comes from the environment I'm in. So any way I could save money, I will. And plus, it's a great bag and I love it. So I got this bag some years ago in Oakland, California, actually Berkeley at the Berkeley Flea Market. I love these bags. I'm sure you've all seen it a thousand times. But let me tell you what I love about this one. It actually has the cowrie shells. It really had it on both sides, but I lost it there. And it actually has a zipper. And right now the zipper came off the track, but my husband is very handy. So I think that he'll be able to get that back on track and I'll be able to zip up my stuff and I can, can take this down to the beach. And so, yeah, I'm really loving that. I'm going to come this way. When we get there, my sister and I, we're actually going to do a, a, a little ritual or ceremony. We're going to do something for the ancestors. So because we're going near the ocean, and a lot of our people, you know, came from different, were either used, the Caribbean islands was used as ports to hold enslaved Africans waiting to be, you know, sent off to parts of the, well, this is the Americas, anyway, other parts of the Americas, or a lot of times it was just slavery, plant, uh, cane plantations, sugar cane plantations, that was there as well. So we always want to kind of, you know, in a sense, big up, if you will, our ancestors. So what we do is we have a list of all our ancestors and we're going to buy flowers. We're going to have fruit as an offering and we're going to make an offering to the ocean. And so traditionally, when you do something like that, when you wear white. And so this right here, I know you can't see it, so I'm not really going to pick up everything, but I have a beautiful white dress that I will be wearing. So this is for the ceremony only. And so very simple white. I'll probably uh, wear a white head wrap or bring something white to wrap my hair or even an African wrap, which actually I do have African head wraps. And I just thought about that. And most likely I will bring one of those with me. And actually I know the perfect one. I'm gonna get it now, hold on so I can just have it. I'm going to get that now. So you know this is for real. And I think this one will go great because the dress, you can't see it, it has like kind of a gold uh, embroidery in it. And I'll wrap my hair up with this fabric. So this is my Afrocentric uh, decor for my body, right? Another thing is jewelry. I like to keep it simple. I'm so not fussy with jewelry in general. So I'm only going to bring three pieces. I'm going to bring these two necklaces which is, you know, really kind of traditionally kind of Kenyan or even or even South African moors, which you kind of see these necklaces on. They actually go good with most clothes. They're very colorful and beautiful. So I'm bringing this and I'm bringing this because there's a formal night. I'm going to show you what I'm going to wear for formal night. Not a big deal for me. I probably don't really want to eat in the dining room anyway because as a vegan and a raw foodist, it's not a lot to eat. For the ritual also, I'm going to bring, and you all love this card, it's the wisdom of natural hair. So we're going to actually pull cards on the beach, my sister and I, and her cousin, because my sister's cousin recently passed away as well. And so we're going to all kind of do a little, you know, kind of a, like an impromptu a sister circle. So that's also coming with me. I'm going to just go down a little bit, hope my husband can get everything. I'm only bringing uh, a couple, just two pairs of shorts. And I bought these shorts from, uh, I got these shorts from Rainbow, they were $12.99, and they're perfect. They're light, they're airy, they're not linen, but they're linen-like, and I got them both. I got them in a beige color, or khaki color, which I love, and also in white. Uh, you cannot go and travel, not for me. Now, you cannot travel and see up, sit on the beach and not have a good read. I really get a chance to read anymore. I got two channels. I'm married. I got, I got a whole academy, a virtual academy. So to be able to read books that I have never read, I always wanted to know about the Moors. And so I'll be reading The Moors of Spain, which I loved it. My husband says it's a great book. It's by Stanley Lane Poole with a new introduction by John G. Jackson, which is also a great black historian. And it's the story of the Moors of Spain. This will be what my summer reading will be on the beach. So I'm so excited about this. You see this top I have on? Well, see, when I like something, I've learned this. This is what happens when you get gray on your hair. You learn some things. I decided that my sister said bring t-shirts and shorts. 
I can't just have any t-shirt, y'all. This is my t-shirt. So I got it in red, I got it in white, I got it in black, I got it in green, and I got it in a maroon color. So I have all four of my t-shirts. Remember, I got the two shorts and I got two skirts. So I got four skirts, I mean two skirts, two shorts, four tops. You get, you get where I'm going with this? Um, not very Afro Central Home Decor, but inexpensive. And, and by the way, the shirts were $3. I know y'all want to know. The shirts were $3. I bought this uh, sleepwear set, you know, a little short so I can sleep in. And also, you know it's about the love. I talk about love. I say peace and blessings, but I'll say peace and love. It has the love sign on the other side. Let me just show you. I got this set uh, also from Rainbow Stores, and I paid $7.99 for the whole set. It's going to be so much fun. It has the love on it. I'm excited about sleeping in it. The color pink, you know, pink rep represents love, so it's interesting that they have the love on the pink one. Another thing is the ship I hear apparently gets really cool. And so if we do decide to do anything on the ship, which we're not actually doing any of the activities, because they charge you actually for that, we're not doing that. But just in case, uh, of course, it's always good to have a nice cardigan. I think I got this, this is from Ann Taylor. I got this years ago. I love cardigans. They're, they're classy. They look good with everything. And actually, they keep you warm. And so on that note of staying warm, I have just a pair of leggings. I actually got these from Whole Foods. I actually love Whole Foods stuff because their stuff is 100% organic cotton, and that's what these are. Last for a long time. I can't remember what I paid for these two items, but they're at Whole Foods. Let's talk bathing suits. Now, I wish, I used to have an Afrocentric type bathing suit, and I wish I knew where it was. It was black and white, kind of like a zebra pattern. I lost it, but next best thing is color. Do you see this neon yellow kind of green? Can you see this on my chocolate skin, y'all? So I got a, a bikini top, I mean bikini, and I had this for some years. I probably got it from like a Ross or something, and so I'm going to be wearing that mostly. And this one is cute. You know, I like it. I like the stripes, the nautical look with the pink. So I, I brought two baby suits. Always, and, and this is not Afrocentric home decor. It is from Sashi. I treated myself, y'all. But anyway, I, brought, I want to bring an extra pair of glasses. And the reason why I like these glasses a little bit is because they're big, so it makes me feel like, you know, like I'm, you know, at a beach. So kind of like my sunglasses. So, and they, I can see very well in them. I rarely ever wear them. I wear the same glasses that's falling apart. Something about that comfort. But I figure I'll bring an extra pair. And, you know, you might want to style and profile. So, of course, you cannot get everything. Most, let me tell you what was new. The only, the shorts are new. The t-shirts, the PJs. The, the, the warm stuff, already had it. The, the uh, bathing suits, already had it. The cover-up, this is my cover-up, already had it. So I'll just put this on on my bathing suit. There you go. I got this from Rainbow. These, the first stuff, I mean, this other stuff, the shorts and t-shirt I got from Rainbow in North Carolina. This one I actually got from Rainbow in Oakland. So that's my cover-up. Let's talk about Afro Sun Home Decor. I put that, I put a, there's a style and a feel that I like. And so a lot of the Indian clothes have that same type of style. So y'all can see how wonderful this skirt's going to be. Anybody can wear it because it cinches at the waist. I got it at a Tibetan store in Oakland. So I have it in the white. Just in case we want to, you know, we're out a little late or, you know, you just want to walk around the beach and you don't want to walk in your bathing suit. I can actually easily put this on over my bathing suit and also take it off easily. That's what I kind of stuff that I'm packing. Things that can be ironed easily or, listen, you're on vacation. You don't have to iron. So that's, that's the good part. And also I have it in this color. Isn't that beautiful? Like, I love this, y'all. I just absolutely love it. It's flowy, and this is 100% cotton. So what's more important? Why is that important when you travel? Because cotton is breathable. So this is going to be great for the evenings on the beach. So I have two of those. So again, two bottoms, which is skirts. Uh, uh, well, four bottoms, two skirts, two shorts. Four t-shirts, I know, that's what I got. I always work with what I got. I don't, I don't want to overpack, and I don't want to bring a whole bunch of stuff, so I'm not doing it. P 
picked up these wonderful shoes. They are Steve Madden. I love the denim. Look, look at these, y'all. They so cute. I wore them because I got I like to break my shoes in before I travel in them. Uh, I think I paid, it was $25 or 20, I think it was $24.99. It was. And they are so cute. Look at the heel. Love them. Burlington Coat Factory bought them yesterday. Uh, no, this wasn't Berlin. TJ Maxx, $25. Again, I like this. I, I don't know. This just feels Afrocentric to me. It's going to go great with, this, with the uh, skirts. It has the brown. See, it's got the G on it. My husband and I, we say G for Goodson, but it's actually G for Guess. And these were probably $9.99. They were $9.99, and these were definitely at Burlington. Of course, you never want to travel and always just, you don't want to rely on your toes always being out. You want to be able to make sure if it gets cold or you're walking far. So I just got some kids. I've had these kids forever. Oh, the two skirts, have them forever. I mean years. When you buy good stuff, you don't have to keep buying it. So I had the skirts for years. Again, I got it at a Tibetan shop in Berkeley, California. Kaz, not, I mean, you know, self-explanatory there. Cute, they can be worn with the skirts. They, that's what's so great about them, the shorts. So they're versatile and I love that. The other thing too is, oh, and oh, I forgot to show you my other slippers. I got another pair, I'm bringing three. Flip flops, I call them, these are my shower shoes. Again, I got this from Burlington Coat Factory. And I think I paid $9.99, I'm almost positive that I did. Aren't they cute? I'm gonna take a shower in these. And I have one more pair that's in the car. Okay, let's talk about the fan. People have asked me, where do I get the fan? I got three of these, three different patterns. It's from, it's called Andinkra Expo. I promise I will leave it in the description box. And actually, um, this, I forgot how much I paid. It wasn't much. Is this gorgeous, lovely? Yeah, you've seen this one. But I got another one in my bag, and I'll show you that one. So i got to have my fans for many reasons. But uh, yes, and it comes in a nice little pouch, which I love. And again, I'll leave it. It's on. A, it's an Etsy product so it's on the Etsy and you can actually order it. I know you're asking they have all different patterns and I've used them all. I well I didn't buy them I only bought three. Um, let me show you else. You cannot be I heard that the deck, especially when you have, you know, if I'm dining in the dining room, I heard that on the ship it is very, very, very cold. I heard it's that cold because the air conditioner. This is made out of nettles. Y'all know the herb nettles, the actual herb, the plant called nettles. This is made out of nettles. It is very gentle and delicate so actually it's a shawl my husband bought it for me and this shawl is no joke this is a $300 piece but yes I, I, I keep it near and dear to me it'll fit easily in my so-called beach bag and uh, it's, it's believe it or not it's warm when it needs to be warm and because of the the pattern and the holes in it the natural holes the natural pattern it's cool when it needs to be cool and it is a hundred percent nettles it is, uh, we bought it, again, I bought it at a Tibetan store. My husband gave it to me as a gift. I almost considered this before we were married, so I'm going to call this an engagement gift. I will pass this down to my daughter. This is how much I love it. So my sister said, bring the shawl. So I did. The next thing is, now listen, y'all. I don't do the formal thing. See, I wanted to, okay, so one of the nights on the boat when you're in the dining area, you can't have shorts and T-shirts. They want you to be formal. But my formal is not like everybody else. Now, I was going to wear a, a really African print dress, but it's, I don't want to, my African dresses are kind of expensive, and I didn't want to boil it up and carry it, and I didn't want to do it. I might even go to the dining room. We'll see, but I will go to the buffet. So instead, I said, let's do it my style. So I bought this at a wonderful boutique. It's a, I love this dress, so you can y'all can easily see that it's a, a tube top dress. And it's very colorful. It looks elegant. Once I dress it up, you know, I'll, I'll put the, the, the necklaces, the really colorful necklaces. They actually catch, capture the colors of the bottom of the dress. And then I'll wear these shoes with it. So if I do go to the dining hall, that'll be good. If I don't, I can still wear this because I consider this a sundress. And it fits so lovely. This dress is gorgeous. And again, it packs easily. I look for stuff like that. If I had to wash it, I could. So things like that. Packs easily and it's breathable because I've worn it many summers. Now, you got to have the hat. I bought this hat at, no, it wasn't Ann Taylor, it was Eileen Fisher. And y'all, they had the sun, they had the beach bag to go with it. I should have bought it, but I didn't. The hat was enough, and I bought this hat. 
And so, you know, beach, y'all, this is beachy, you know, keep the sun out. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, so I love my hat, and I've got an opportunity to wear it. It's a great, well-made hat. I'm sure I'll have it for life. Let me show you something, and I'm going to actually do her, the sister properly. Um, a sister from, a sister from uh, England, her name is Marilyn Fontaine. She actually made this bag, and she actually has a phone case cover that she's sending to go with me. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to uh, actually leave her link, not in this one, because I'm going to do a whole review of this bag, so that, because if you purchase it, um, I'll, get, I'll get something on it, it's a special code, I'll make sure you get the code, so you, when you get it, you'll love it. I've been rocking it for the last two days, it is her original artwork on the bag, and again, I'm going to do a full review commercial for it, so I just wanted to show you, this is my travel on the plane bag, you know, I bring my own food, because I'll be in Miami the first night, I'm coming in early, and so I'll be able to be in Miami, and uh, I carry my food, you know, my raw foods, my, my everything, my, my so-called mock tuna salad, it's not real tuna, it's made with seeds, and it's raw, and I'm bring fruits and vegetables, and I'm bring my, yes, maybe I'll carry my blend in here. My blend is very small, so it will fit. And so this is my little tote bag. And I just want to show you a couple of things in it. Just very simple stuff. Of course, I'm going to, that might be wrinkled, but no, I'm going to wear it to the airport tomorrow. It's always good to have a nice kind of plain white shirt. I do like Ann Taylor when I do buy stuff. And so I bought this from her some years ago. Shirt lasts forever. Um, of course, I have another fan. I just want to show you. The same place, Andinkra, uh, uh, Andinkra Expo. So I always keep them everywhere I go. So I'll make sure I have one in my bag that's close to me. And just uh, nothing else too, you know, important. Just the other thing is, of course, a journal so that I can write, you know, stuff that either I, from my readings or just my, my journey, you know, my journey and my vacation and memories from that. So that's it. Very basic stuff. Maybe a handheld mirror. Little things like that. Now, we're going to come around here, and actually, I guess these are going to be the last two things, and I wanted to show you how easy it is for me, I guess, to travel, uh, at least to pack and only take what I think I really need. So, because I'm raw, they actually have something called raw snacks. For those that are new to raw foods, raw foods are food that is not cooked over 100, between 115 and 118 degrees, some go up to 120. It's believed that when you cook the food above 120, it uses... It loses its natural enzymes. The enzymes is what helps you digest your food and it gives you life. So anyway, this is a raw snack. It's called chocolate snackaroons. I actually bought a TJ Maxx, Ross, uh, Home Goods. All of them have a section that is off the chain, and they have this is sold in Whole Foods. I and I'm sure I would pay eight to ten dollars in Whole Foods. The same bag, four ninety nine at TJ Maxx. Get hungry, snack food, and plain food, and actually boat food as well. Another thing is, I, just in case there's not a lot to eat, organic black chia seeds, again, from TJ Maxx. I paid $6 for this organic brand. What I heard is companies that are new, they, they actually put their brands in stores like TJ Maxx and Home Goods and, and Marshalls and even Dollar Tree, legitimately organic, to see how they're going to sell before they put them in the other stores. Six dollars. This is uh, this is raw, vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO, organic, all the good stuff. And this is 16 ounces. That's a lot of chia seeds. I would not use this throughout the whole trip. I'll, I'll take it. I'll put it in my blender, or I'll put it even in water, and I'll soak it, and then I'll add bananas and other fruit to it, and eat it just like that. And my last uh, supplement, because just in case I don't get all my greens, because maybe, I know they don't have organic fruits and vegetables, I'll be able to have my spirulina powder. This is actually $4.99. Spirulina is very expensive. And so to find some raw vegan, it has vitamin A, B vitamins, iron, protein, amino acid. It keeps you full so you don't have that hungry feeling. It gives you the greens that you need. You only need a teaspoon of water. This is going to last me the whole trip. And again, I paid $5 for this. And so it says you can add a tablespoon, which, which I'll probably do. I tell people that are first starting to do a teaspoon, because for some people it's really strong, but it is your green power when you don't have your fresh greens. This is going to help me tremendously. And so the last thing I want to do is, so you know we have my husband and I, we make our own products. We have our own product line. It's natural beauty products. 
It's called Africa 7 Beauty. And so we do have travel sizes. My husband made sure that he ordered that. And so I'm taking my African Black Soap, which is this one is going to be peppermint. In it is the, a clay mask for my face, the bentonite clay. Also the bentonite clay toothpaste in the jar. And the last thing is the shea butter. The real, these four products, and of course the toothbrush, is all I need to stay glowing, shiny, beautiful. And remember, shea butter has SPF 15, so it's a protection from the harmful rays. But it won't let, but it won't keep away those beautiful rays that we as Africans really do need. So this is my toiletry bag. I mean, you know. Oh, and that's right. I should say one thing. I don't wear makeup. I don't wear foundation ever, ever, ever. I mean, I used to when I was way young. I was like 19, 20, 21. But I don't wear foundation. I, I won't. I mean, they have natural, but. I don't think I really need it, so, but I do wear Burt's Bee lip uh, crayon color. I wear natural Whole Foods black eyeliner. I wear natural um, uh, mascara, and that's it. So I bought from Walmart. Yes, I'm sorry I did the dirty deed. I went to Walmart, but yeah, you know what, y'all? Yeah, anywho, I went to Walmart, and this is by Primus Hill, and this was. $5. I remember it was $4.99. Just bought it today. I love the pattern, the brown. I don't know. This feels that Afrocentric y feeling, and it kind of goes with all my colors. So it's kind of so me. And so it's very small because, like I told you, I'm taking a lipstick, two eyeshadows, some mascara, eyeliner, and that's it. And then some brush, a brush or two to put the stuff on. And we'll see if I even get to put that much on because at the beach, who needs all that? But I'm taking it with me anyway. And so the only thing you don't see is one more pair of flip-flops. And I think I'm ready to go, y'all. So all of this, including this bag, with the exception of the tote, because the tote's not going in. And of course, I'm going to hold my hat. All of this fits into that bag easily and effortlessly. And so, yes, yeah, so I want to say I'm going to do my best to vlog while I'm in the Bahamas. When I come back from the Bahamas, we will make sure to, we're going to do a, a bathroom kind of reveal, a bathroom refresh. I'm going to show you why I set up my bathroom the way I do. It's not the way other people maybe do it or for the reasons. And you're going to love it. It's for health, vitality, and beauty. And so, yes, y'all, I am very excited to be traveling. I'm actually going to take a real vacation. I haven't had a vacation I don't think ever. I mean, even when I went back and forth to Trinidad, it was like kind of with family. So it wasn't a vacation. But it was. But it wasn't like this. I'm going to lay on the beach, y'all. And I'm going I'm to get darker. And yes, it's possible. And I'm going to read my book about the Moors. And I'm going to put my sun hat on and I'm going to take it off. And anyway, and I'm going to pick up some great items. If I can get off the beaten path of the Bahamas, I will be able to show you some of the items that perhaps I'll be able to buy. And so, yes. I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna enjoy. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the evening with my husband. I'm traveling for a few days, so yeah, we need our time together. But I love you all with all my heart. This is Lisa Marie Goodson of the Blackberry. I'm sorry, y'all, of the Afrocentric Home Decor Channel. And when I come back, I'll see you real soon. If you're going somewhere, enjoy. And if you really, I'm telling you, my little uh, toiletry travel pack. Wherever I just put it, I don't know, yeah, here. Um, if you're interested, we're going to offer the actual travel pack, you know, with all four items um, on the website eventually. But drop a, a, some, a comment in the description box or the, in the comment box and let me know if you all would be interested in your own travel, toiletry, natural Africa 7. Of course, they all will have the labels on it. If you are, let us know. Love you all with all my heart. Take care. Peace and blessings.